cars. They're everywhere. From the sun-drenched highways of California to the bustling streets of Tokyo, we rely on these metal boxes on wheels to get us from point A to point B. But here's the thing. A car in Calcutta isn't quite the same as a car in Copenhagen. Sure, they've both got four wheels and an engine, but the similarities pretty much end there. You see, just like people, cars are shaped by their environment. The needs of a farmer in rural Argentina are vastly different from those of a businessman in London. And this is where things get interesting, because when it comes to cars, one size definitely doesn't fit all. The roads themselves play a starring role in this automotive drama. Think about it. A hulking SUV that feels right at home cruising down a six-lane American highway would stick out like a sore thumb on the narrow, winding lanes of rural England. And don't even get me started on trying to parallel park that beast in Rome. So, buckle up, petrol heads, because we're about to embark on a global road trip to explore the wonderful and wacky world of cars. From the sensible to the sublime, the practical to the downright ludicrous, we'll uncover how our four-wheeled friends reflect our needs, our desires, and perhaps even a little bit of our national character. North and South, Let's kick things United off in the good old US of A, the land of the free and the home of the brave, and the massive pickup truck. Americans love their trucks, and it's not hard to see why. With vast distances to cover and a penchant for hauling everything from groceries to garden furniture, a big, powerful truck just makes sense. Now hop across the pond to Europe and you'll find a very different automotive landscape. Fuel is expensive, parking spaces are smaller than a shoebox, and narrow, cobbled streets are the norm. No wonder then that Europeans tend to favor smaller, more fuel-efficient cars. Head east to Japan and you'll enter the realm of technological marvels. The Japanese are obsessed with innovation and their cars are no exception. Think tiny, city-friendly K-cars that can park on a dime or sleek, futuristic hybrids that wouldn't look out of place in a sci-fi film. Of course, we can't forget about India, a country where cars are often seen as a status symbol and a reflection of success. Here, you'll find a fascinating mix of affordable hatchbacks, rugged SUVs for navigating challenging roads, and the occasional luxury car that screams, I've arrived! So, what are the advantages and disadvantages of this global automotive tapestry? Well, the diversity is certainly a good thing. It means that no matter where you live or what your needs are, there's a car out there that's perfect for you. It also fosters innovation, as manufacturers constantly strive to outdo each other with new features and designs. However, this variety can also lead to some headaches. For example, different countries have different safety and emissions standards, which can make it tricky to import or export cars. Furthermore, the emphasis on specific car types in certain regions can stifle innovation. If everyone's buying SUVs, there's less incentive to develop smaller, more fuel-efficient cars. And let's not forget the environmental impact of all these gas guzzlers clogging up our roads. The bottom line is that the global automotive industry is a complex and ever-evolving beast. There's no easy answer, no one-size-fits-all solution. But by understanding the different needs and preferences of drivers around the world, we can start to build a more sustainable and efficient automotive future. So, there you have it, a whistle-stop tour of the wonderful world of cars. From the rugged plains of America to the bustling streets of Tokyo, we've seen how our four-wheeled friends are shaped by our needs, our desires, and perhaps even our national character. But this is just the start of the journey. I want to hear from you. What's your dream car? What are the biggest automotive quirks in your country? Head down to the comments section and let me know your thoughts. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another episode of Automotive Adventures. Until next time, drive safe.